Hey, we're back. Likumbari podcast. Everybody likes this podcast. You really? Yeah. They like me. <laughs> I'm going to have Alfie's name just go across the screen. But then <laughs> again, oh my Lord. <laughs> Aren't you naked anyway? <laughs> I see the I see the tablecloth moving. <laughs> oh my what? Gosh. What can what I say? What is going yeah. on? As you know, this is a special um, episode. The reason being is because we don't have the camera switch. Reason being because Alfie's naked. <laughs> That's why it's a special episode. Yes. Yeah, so you need special glasses to watch this episode. So. <laughs> Yeah, I don't yeah. know, guys. Just go find special glasses or USB C or whatever. Oh, wait, what do you mean special glasses? <laughs> you know how they see, like James Bond. So you don't get poked. <laughs> I might, I might, you know James Bond where they you can actually be see. You talking about 3D. <laughs> oh Christ! Actually, I saw a movie in 3D. The What's Mario coming Bros. out with Apple? Apple is coming out with a new set of goggles. <laughs> You, I don't you know, buddy. Yeah. You know like, it. They're coming out Seriously? with a new set of goggles. Uh, that for real? It's like a. It's more. It's better than VR. Like it's a new version of VR. Yeah, you check them out. They're, I can't but remember what they're called. They're like they're not not three D kind of thing. It's, it's just better it's than 3D. Virtual, virtual reality. reality. It's like, a virtual reality that okay, you're in okay. it. Like you're really in it more oh, than okay, more okay. than uh, VR. That, that sounds right. fun though. So yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Good. Okay. Back to the Kumbare podcast. Yeah. So guys. let's go. What's up, guys? So, First of uh, all, let's cheers. Cheers. Salud. 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 Cheers. Yes. Salud. It goes down nice when you're supposed Italian. To, it's supposed to last the 15 minutes of the podcast, <laughs> but... Uh, it's already finished. Whatever. So, what do you want to do? Well, I did it in half a bottle waiting for you to sign I up. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so, guys, welcome to our Likumbari podcast. I forget what episode we're on, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't yes. matter because you have it doesn't. to... It, it's just a number, and it doesn't matter because you guys watch us every week anyway. So, in the end, it's just like your weekly dose of Kumbari, Italian... Fun stuff. stuff. You're running out of things to say. I'm running out of things to say. They <laughs> salsicha, salsicha, salsicha. <laughs> oh, Madonna. So, guys, basically, um, what I wanted to talk about today was being Italian Canadian. What? Huh? Just being Italian Canadian? Being Italian Canadian. What do we do when we're Italian Canadian? We watch, what? Uh, huh? you know what I do? I watch mobster movies and mobster <laughs> TV shows. That's it. That That's was our part of our segment is mobsters. Oh, okay. Like, but like movies. Because we're not going to talk about well, real mobsters. <laughs> we're going to talk well, about... I, I, kept, I kept some of my parents' traditions like the melons on the super sad, the, nice. the wine. The that wine. I do. By the yeah. way, this is Alfie's wine that we're drinking here. Yeah. Yes. The wine, the super sad, the, the homemade cheese. Anybody out there that can get me goats? <laughs> with, for, I need milk, goat <gasps> milk. I need somebody like contact Steph or is it, I need go. You can get. Uh, no, we have a like. we have a farm. What? We have a farm on uh, not far from uh, where I am. Don't 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 mention it online. Uh, no, I'm not. Because it's illegal to sell goat milk. What? <laughs> oh. Yeah, because they're not pasteurized. No, I think these ones are. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. We have a yeah. farm. Who has a farm? Who has a farm? <laughs> I don't we don't know. have a farm. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, goat far, the goat herders. <laughs> uh-huh. So, the goat herders back to reality. Herding goats. <laughs> it's hot in here. It's hot in here, yeah. <laughs> and dying. Oh, Dios. Um, so, guys. So, yeah. I like the, the, the melanzani. I would love to start making the melanzani, by the way. I haven't made it. I want to start making tarali. But, Alf, you do this like you do sausages one weekend, two weekends. Then you no, do... it's once a year. Are you, once a year. Well, I do it usually in January. Do you still uh, do the sauce the old way, like uh, spend no, the whole weekend? No, you know weekend? what? At the at the, pr- at the at the price that they're selling it at, mm. at yeah. in the grocery stores and everything, to break my head to actually do it, and yeah, sometimes you get, you get like four cans yeah. for yeah. I don't know three dollars. Yeah. I mean, I'm not breaking my head for sauce, you know, and it's a lot of work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will probably do. I will probably do. I do everything else that is expensive, like the suprasad, the prosciutto, uh, the melanzan, the roasted peppers. Um, Dude, you got to let me know when you're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the roasted peppers are awesome. I, 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 I don't do cheese. <laughs> yeah, cheese, <laughs> cheese do. is hard. Cheese yeah. is hard. Uh-huh. I know how to do it. Kind of hard to get the milk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody sells it to you anymore. Nope. So <laughs> kind of hard uh, to do the milk. But I mean, uh, I'm more in touch with... Uh, now I'm trying to get my aunt for uh, her recipes for a piñolata. A piñolata, nice. nice. And uh, what do you call those things that they used to make at Easter, like that big dough with the with the egg in the middle? Oh, the uh, oh, the, um, um, oh shit. Um, okay, wait, let's explain. A my lata. wife knows how to do ikrishped. Oh, oh my nice. mom. I have a whole tub that... But so, wait, hold on. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, the crispet. I mean, there's different like the crispet like a dough, the... and then they yeah. put the, mm-hmm. the some yeah. have sardines inside. Oh no no no. See? No, the crispel, I have the, they're like cookies, but they're dry yeah, cookies. Yeah, they're dry. You look, the snowflake kind. Yeah, the snowflake. The, the, the yeah, exactly. Snowflake. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So let's explain. Melanzan, guys, let's explain because not everybody is Italian who watches this show. Exactly. Uh, melanzan is literally uh, e- eggplant. 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 And we do it, uh, we do the Parmesan way, which is fantastic, but that's not a specialty that we, like everybody does eggplant Parmesan, but we do, the Italians do it uh, under oil. And some some do it under vinegar as well, mm. and they bottle it right, and it's fucking amazing. They make it spicy, and it goes so good with sandwiches. A lot sandwiches. of work. Yeah, yeah, that's it's that's a amazing. Lot hours of work. work that. It's hours of work. My wife does it with her, um, with her, with my mother-in-law. Wow, and it's a lot of work. Wow. Oh okay, so when you say you do it, it's your wife. <laughs> no, does I, it. I like. You I, help, I help, but uh, like the the my my wife does, but the uh, super sad. I do it. It's me and my wife that does. I I cut while well, we cut we have the, the 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 meat cut and everything then you got to do the mixture you got to put it in the machine you got to budel and then you got to tie the budel at a certain and then after that you got to start curing it so you got to do it so th- you got to put hang it up then switch it over another time mm-hmm. with with the humidity at the bottom so we put like cloths at the bottom and then you press it and it's it's a process. It's a Holy process. So God. explain what a sopressata is. How's your dried version, sausage? Basically. Dried dried sausage. Yeah. yeah. Dried. We That's... we do also when we do the sopressata at that point we get the skinnier boudel. Then you got also the boudel that you have to clean. So, so let's explain I mean, that a boudel. Uh-huh. Yeah, a a boudel is, is, is uh, intestine. Intestine, yeah. right? So that's what we put the sausage yeah. in. And, uh, so you got to clean it with uh, some people put vinegar, which I don't like. So you do it with the lemon and the water, with the salt, and then you got to salt it. So I mean. It's a, a process of, and a half, eh? To eat of. well and to take. So from when you do blenders. it, you take those three, four days. You do uh, batches. Shala- batches. Last, last time we did, we did maybe a hundred. Mm. Wow. A hundred between three people, so we took about thirty-three each. So I mean, wow. when you do, you you do you do. <laughs> you yeah. do. You're not gonna do it for one <laughs> or two. Not, okay, some people do it like people that have nothing to do, like the, like the older generation that have nothing to do. They'll probably do it. On a regular basis, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't have that patience. <laughs> do it once, do it hard. It's once a year. Yeah, yeah. you pick. Yeah. A, so basically, three weeks. For shoot the year. or six months to make. Yes. To yeah, cure to and all, cure that. And all so, of that. So you better get started with your first one because <laughs> after that you need to do it every six months. Wow. But that, that that's on its own. There's not really much to do. You more. It's, it's more of seasoning and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I remember my dad did it. It was so good. It was Do so you good with the hot it? pepper. Do you slice it and then vacuum pack it? My father, he, he once it's done, it's cured. He slices it, puts it in the vacuum, and then he gives you, out the... You know yeah. what? The, yes and no. Um, I've tried it one year, and I left the bone in. You have to break both bones at the bottom to bleed the blood. Okay. Or the veins or whatever the hell it is you got to break. And I left the bone in the middle because people were telling me, leave the bone in the middle. You need to, you know, to support it. Today, what I do is I cut it open. I take everything out, the bone, the the, uh, the veins and everything. I bleed it. You close it. And once once it's closed and everything, no, you just... I leave it hanging. And I slice it as I hang. Okay. Like yeah, my dad it, used to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I used just to leave cut it, hanging. it as you go in. As you go in. You need... Mm. People are coming over. You slice yeah, a couple exactly of slices. Yeah, that's exactly it. You wow. take it off the... Yeah, uh, the sh- my father used to my shoulder. the hanger. Yeah. Sh- 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 a couple yeah. of slices. Put it back on. Nice. I'm telling Cover you. it with an aluminum foil. Yeah. And the last okay, I, would, I will put my TV in there. <laughs> and just slice as we're watching TV. You got, you got the wine. So wine. You got, you got the wine and the straw. <laughs> you put the but straw and the TV. Wife keeps <laughs> asking me, why don't you ever leave the candine? It's because number one, I'm drunk. <laughs> my, my parents used to do it. My parents used to put the, so- the dried sausage under the oil. Mm, uh, we do that too. Yeah. Yeah. Used to leave yeah. it. They used to leave it in the candy. But yeah. the suprasad, after let's say after a year or two, let's say I do thirty three of them, right? After a year or two, they start getting harder. Yeah. yeah. So what I do is I take them, like the what's left over. But I do them every year. So every year, whatever's left over. I'll throw them on Sotol. Yeah. yeah, you give it for uh, gifts at the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas gifts. Me, I give nothing you want. You come to my house, we eat together, <laughs> together. cognac, wine, cigars, whatever you want. So what time? You eat it at my house. <laughs> what time tomorrow? <laughs> you know, I give it to you as a gift, but I don't know if you can eat it or throw that. it out. So you Do, can eat it at my house. Yeah. Doing the Likumbari podcast from your cantina. Sure. That would be freaking funny. Right Wouldn't now, right now, it sounds like a fucking v- a vacation because eh? I'm dying of heat in this uh, <laughs> in this place. Yeah, because the cantina is, is right nice now. Cool. It's at 15 degrees. Oh, oh my god, that 15, feels 15, nice. 14 degrees. Yeah. 
That's oh gorgeous. Because my air conditioning doesn't go floored in that. Ah, okay. <laughs> so that's it. Like, it's great to have, I think, the culture from... I, I find that a lot of it is lost. So in order for us to keep it, you've got to keep doing that. My only problem is I don't have time. And I want time. I love to cook. I love to bake. I just made uh, cookies last week. So you never have we, time. We didn't get any, but did I, you get any? No, I didn't get any. Well, you make cookies. But then again, I won't, I won't complain because I brought the wine, but I didn't bring the, the suprasad or anything else. So I won't complain. <laughs> okay. Because I keep saying you got to come to my house to have it. True. But it's true. I love to cook. I love to bake. I'd be at your house tomorrow. <laughs> I, but it's, it's the best for me. I, I look at Steph's face. He's like, mm-hmm. we're in. We're all in. Yeah, but even my daughter. My daughter just made cookies. Really? Buy herself, yeah, yeah. So, she just made cookies. So we could bypass you and call your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> so you were about I to explain her. about la piñolata. Yes, yes, yes. Let's explain yeah. it because that's amazing. Okay, I'll explain yeah. it. <laughs> it's basically like it's the, it's um, the I don't want to say cheap, but it's such a simple thing that's so delicious. It's mm-hmm. dough mixed with whatever you want, really. Yeah. And I like the sausage when back to the sausage, but... Okay, but uh, I guess... It's like a dough roll, right? No, what, what, me, it's like little dough balls. Uh-huh. You make a lot of them, you fry them, and then you put honey, white sugar or honey on top. Oh, that's... Yeah. Uh, see, no, we, that's okay. Oh, yeah, you know what? It's different dialect in different countries. That, so that's, yeah. Let's explain yeah. that. Just that's that. Different country, different states of uh, different You're talking provinces. about a stromboli. I was talking... Stromboli, for yeah. me, is what he's talking about. Oh, okay, no, I make stromboli. I do it, but yeah. what I do with the honey Okay, so it. let's explain this, yes. guys. See, where, the wait, wait, where are you from? I'm from Calabria and Capobasso. But how is it possible? Because I'm from Reggio, and in Reggio we call it La Pignolata. No, as we do Stromboli. La Pignolata to me Pignolata is... Pignolata is almost the same. My grandmother made Pignolata, but I make Stromboli. And so what it is, it's like gnocchi. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's dough, it's dough ball. but you have to fry them. Yeah. They're yeah. like a little gnocchi. You fry, you, you, you fry the dough. Yes, okay, that's it. We're and then you put the honey on it's top. A, yes. It's or a mini version of Mr. Puffs, basically. Yeah, so yeah you exactly. You can even put the, the candy on but it. Just better. Just yeah, better. Just better. Yeah, exactly. my, these ones are so addictive, though. They're so addictive. Yeah. I, you, you, you make an amondagne. And uh, oh my God, I just, and that, and I do the figs. I cut the figs in half and I put I don't do orange figs. peel, sugar, and I make it like a sandwich. It's and not, with uh, walnuts inside. You didn't win me over on that one. <laughs> so let's. Uh, it's so good. How about we come to your house and we have those cookies? Okay? <laughs> it's so you, good. You know what? I actually have to look it up online. Maybe it's me. No, but I'm sure. No, it's Stromboli. I put my old man glasses on. <laughs> It is, but I make those at Christmas. I make those more towards the holidays because me in the summer yeah. I don't bake. <laughs> I don't bake during. I don't bake during the summer. <laughs> so sorry, I'm online. Lisa, do me a favor. Yeah. Can you just yeah, push right. that? Push the wire into the mic. Uh, okay, we're good now. We're good? There, pignolata yeah. calabrese. It's exactly yeah, that. Yeah, but here, but if we look, they're called stromboli. So this is happening live on a podcast. Yeah, sure. Let's okay. have a debate now, guys. <laughs> let's have a debate. But look, it's pignolata calabrese. You got exactly what I was saying with the honey and all that. But then what's pignolata regular? Because to me, it's the, the sausage roll. Uh, you see? Uh, yeah, you see? No, wait. You hang on. No, uh, no. They're called. <laughs> uh, oh, no. That's from Estrufoli. Estrufoli, yeah. That's what I call them. You said stromboli. Stromboli, stromboli. Yeah, it's the same thing. Say stromboli. Look, it's the same thing. I said stromboli. <laughs> stromboli. See, but mine comes Do we from... have another... Uh, no, do no, we no, have no. something... No, no. These are honey balls. From, uh, yeah, uh, honey from balls. Okay. Neapolitan dish. But you see, mine comes exactly from Italy. Yours comes from Google. So mine is right. No, but this one is... <laughs> it's Napolitano. We'll say, place of origin, Italy. <laughs> stromboli. Do we have a segment, Lisa? Do we have a segment? Yes, we do. Episode? Okay, so this segment that we were going to be talking about, it's mostly Italian-based too. It's uh, We're talking about mobsters. Oh, no. We're not doing a, a special segment this episode? What special segment did you want to do? I don't know. We were doing direct... Cut. Oh, I'll do a director's cut. Okay, so okay. <laughs> director's cut. Yes. So I'm going to explain it quickly. It's I'm the director. Up. I give the cut. Uh, they're going to act a little scene from their chair. I'm going to make it up as I go along. And then I'm going to cut them in the middle. And I'm going to tell them to reenact the same scene, but in a different style. Okay. Okay. So right now, um, Alfie is the... Uh, the husband who's preparing the sausages in the canteen. I knew that was coming. And the <laughs> wife is going to come there and bust his nuts because they have to go to a party. So this is and the, the scene. the going to tell you I'm a fat chasso. <laughs> and you're going to start this scene and it's just going to be a romantic comedy scene. And then after we will take romantic? it from there. Romantic? Romantic comedy. Well, like, you well, know. So, well, since we're talking about sausage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> it. And here we go. The scene starts now. 
do I have to like pretend? <laughs> oh, you, could, you could pretend you're making sausages <laughs> or playing with it. What? <laughs> oh my god! And the segment stopped. Yeah. <laughs> the segment is done. We're done. <laughs> no. What so, are you doing? Sausages. I've been doing them from before. But you do sausages all the time. Is there anything else that you want to do? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How doing is trophy. How long have we been married? <laughs> how, long does, <laughs> how long does it take to cure that? <laughs> oh, God, it took five time. seconds. <laughs> off the rails. <laughs> I talk to my priest. <laughs> I think it's over. <laughs> no, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Because he started laughing. It threw the whole thing off. Keep going. <laughs> Are you going to wrap that? <laughs> <laughs> We've been married for so long. There's no reason to wrap it. No, but it shrivels. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to mention the party at a certain point. <laughs> yeah, no, I was getting there. I was getting there. <laughs> Ooh, All right, let's start the scene over, <laughs> and we're going to do Wait, it. Wait, I, I was getting to the party. Okay, let's go to the party. Okay, uh, can you wrap that up so we can go to the party? <laughs> what kind of a party is it? What kind of a party is it? It's wine and cheese. <laughs> wine and cheese. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Uh, oh let's reenact God. that oh whole God. scene oh God. as a country western. <laughs> Ooh. I ain't go down there and put that thing away and let's go to that party. <laughs> All right. Come on, Jed. <laughs> and bring that freaking banjo. <laughs> <laughs> banjo. I don't know where you came up. Like that came out just like. <laughs> it's goddamn hot here. Have our wit. Oh my god, I'm fucking. Sweat. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my fist on. <laughs> you go and do that, Wyatt. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in my wrapping paper. <laughs> you should put that in some cellophane. The director comes in and says, That is the worst country western he's ever seen. It's fucking hot! <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my Let's god. Let's reenact. Real, it is hot. Huh? It means you got. Let's the reenact that act, scene. You sweat. <laughs> Let us reenact that scene as a. Um, let me think about it. As a Star Wars film. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> My saber is bigger than your saber. <laughs> Wasn't that longer than last year? So <laughs> Follow the light. <laughs> Why is it green? <laughs> Gonorrhea. Oh. <laughs> the segment is shut to shit. Do you notice that every time we started, Ozan's up there? Because <laughs> he said romantic comedy. And you started it. Yes, because I have to get into the party. All right, director's cut failed. <laughs> Not one scene failed. You guys got a two on ten. Oh. Two on ten. Both oh, of you. Oh, <laughs> But oh that my was God. funny, though. That was so funny. I, uh, I, that was very good, although um, it's hot as hell. Yeah. Um, but let's go and talk about something else that's very yeah. interesting and Italian related. Your gigs. Oh, yeah. My gigs. Yes. Well, tell us about your gigs. Uh, let me think of something that was... Oh, I can tell you a nightmare gig. Oh, no. Uh, well, I won't say nightmare. A nightmare gig. Nightmare. Nightmare. It was a wedding. Yeah. The crazy part, it was... So this is my segment where I talk about gigs that happen and I just, you know, shoot the shit. It was an Italian wedding, a beautiful Italian wedding. Yeah. So all I have to say is they had four event planners. Four. Ooh. Four. What the fuck do you need four event planners to fucking plan a wedding? But yeah. four. And this is true life? Yeah. This is true life. This was last Saturday, bro. <gasps> wow. So I'm not going to mention where, but it was a gorgeous wedding. The people were the most, the nicest people in the world. Super nice. The family, there was about 300 people. They wanted to party. They were ready to party. But the planners decided they have to choose when people dance. Oh my what? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. So yeah. the band is on stage. It's not like I want to make them dance, but we're playing 
typical Italian music to start off the night. You know, it's a slow, it's an Italian wedding, so we're doing like a setup at Kitiamo, and people want to party, so they get up and they start partying. And the event planners want are to stop giving me shit. <gasps> oh They're my just God. saying, stop, you're making them dance. Why are you making them dance? And I'm like, fuck, I'm playing music. That's But what I'm hired to do. Can I ask do. you something? You're there to entertain your guests yeah. that yeah. came they to had, honor your wedding. Yeah. They had an allotted the fuck time. fuck are you going to yeah. tell them not to? They had an allotted time for the dance. And during the meal, when the course was being served, they did not want any dance and it's not even the main course that's it's the first course right. oh it's the first God. course no you got dance between it. every course and even in between that's yeah and my it's thing is like my thing wedding. i'm like it's not a video game that you with your remote control you tell people to sit down it's like if the uncle But wants who asked for these four event plans they event. were they were hired man they I were guess. hired they were hired by who because yeah. they weren't that was intelligent yeah. oh, they was were the hired by the, the couple the couple hired them and uh, they didn't want to deal with certain stuff and that's it right? but did the couple tell the event planners i don't know i i because that 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 that, that me i would have took you know that's where you keep a boost until the end yeah. <laughs> oh until the end of the way hundred dollars the food wasn't good didn't tell me not to ten dollars at the end of the night <laughs> it's and it was one of those oh my god they that's had really to, sad that's terrible and you know at one point like so at one point we had to take like we we were taking a break and the event planner comes and says Okay, guys, you have seven minutes to eat your main course. Because oh. in seven minutes... Yeah, to in, you guys? To us. Oh, my God. She goes, because in seven minutes, uh, you have to, uh, we have to do the cake cutting. And the band had to play a song for the cake cutting. Oh, that's not fair. But if you're an event planner, you should plan that nobody eats a, a, a male right? mean. First of into, all. So he's a shitty event planner. And, Sorry. I, and then I'm like, but can I ask a question? Like, the wedding is going great. The people yeah. are having a good time. They're eating, they're drinking, they're dancing. If it if it's 15 minutes, is it a big deal? Does it change? I know the paper says that at 9.42 you have to open, but if it's 9.55, is it a big deal? Like, can we eat a normal meal? Like, can I have 15 minutes to eat the meal? Well, okay, if you want to do that, whatever. Like, all mad at me. Really? Oh I swear goodness, to God. That is I swear terrible to God. taste. That's, that's, that's very, very It's a classless. wedding. It's a wedding. It's yeah. like, what, does it make a difference if it's 10 minutes later? Some people are just anal. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I know. But you know what? When you're dealing with the public and you're being paid for a service that people are celebrating a special event, I'm sorry. I understand structure, but that's a bit Yeah, strange. it was. That's it was, a bit strange. That's anyway, you know what? Stefano played at my wedding. What yes. was it like? What a blast. 17 mm -hmm. years ago. What a wow. blast. I remember it like it was yesterday, man. The hall at Plaza Volare. Yeah. Yeah. And it was at that hall. You were about 250 people. And that hall wasn't even capable of holding I that know. many people. And the way we set up those tables. Yeah. I remember. That me and my wife, we stood every night placing those tables. Actually, my wife. I was probably drunk somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I don't see you putting your uncle at yeah. table number 18. But anyway. <laughs> every night and... We fit 200 and that they actually had to open up another, uh, the restaurant. They closed down the restaurant and they put the sweet table and everything Didn't inside it? the yeah. restaurant. Oh my yeah. goodness. I remember yeah. that. It's a good wedding. It was a ten fun. band. He played, it was a ten band quartet. Ten and then we had the quartet even during that. During the cocktail and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a ten piece band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember oh, that. That's yeah. awesome. Oh my God. Yeah. See, those are events. Yeah. So guys, we'll leave you on that note. Do not hire four event planners. <laughs> you only need one. Yeah. And I don't want to shit on all event planners, but I, it was just... No, you're not shitting it on made, it. It's just... It honest, made, honestly, I'm, I'm sorry, but if... Yeah, yeah you know what? If it's somebody would have told me, you have seven minutes to eat your plate, yeah. I would have said, I'll give you two. <laughs> to get the fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out. Or I'll give you five, because I'm going to stick it on your throat. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like, who eats... Especially if you got a steak. Yeah. Not just you, that. You got to cut your steak. You got to savor your steak. Yeah. Not just that. You guys are playing. Like, you know what I mean? You need Dude, to I don't eat. Know, I don't know anybody that can eat in and have fun minutes. in seven minutes. Yeah. Hired help. Or have any ooh, ooh, ooh in oh, seven minutes. Help. Hired help. That's anyway. terrible. They should change their ways. Oh. On that note, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And we'll catch you the next time. Take care from the Likumari Podcast. Every Sunday. Ciao. Yes, bye. Bye. Have a good one.